The United Nations has raised alarm over the unprecedented food crisis in southern Africa. 45 million people face severe shortages, according to the World Food Programme. Years of drought, widespread flooding and economic turmoil are being blamed for the emergency. The 16 countries in the region have had a normal crop season only once in the last five years. Zimbabwe is the worst hit, with 7.7 .7 million people, that's half the population, suffering severe food shortages. And one-fifth of the population in Zambia, a regional breadbasket, is struggling to feed itself. Gerald Bork is the spokesperson for the World Food Programme for Southern Africa. He joins us now live from Johannesburg. Good to have you with us, uh, Gerald. Is, is this a new pro problem? I mean, I'm surely, you know, you. as we said, years of drought and widespread flooding and economic turmoil are being blamed for this current emergency. When, when did it start? Uh, well, it, it's, it's an annual uh, problem. Uh, every year uh, between harvests, and there is basically a single harvest in a given year, the harvest typically comes in in April, May, uh, and as stocks from the previous harvest run down, uh, people get hungrier. So we are now at the peak of the lean season, uh, but the numbers are unprecedented. Uh, 45 million is a record, so it is a crisis of dramatic proportions. All right, so what's it going to take to fix it? Money, I suppose. Uh, ab absolutely. Uh, the World Food Programme's operation that runs until the next harvest in, in, in April, May, uh, costs $500 million. Uh, we have secured just $200 million of that, so we need pledges urgently uh, because it can take weeks, if not months, for a financial commitment to translate into food on the ground. Sure. Uh, because so much of Africa has been so hard hit by drought and flooding this year, uh, we have to procure very far a field. Uh, so there are very long lead times between procurement, shipment uh, and arrival of food in country. You say you need, you need pledges. From whom, Gerald? Uh, well, governments, uh, business, uh, individuals even, uh, but typically much of the money that uh, uh, WFP uh, collects for crises like these come from national governments. Uh, so we need them to step up, uh, step in very quickly. What are the prospects then of, of, of getting this sorted in time for what, what you said, April, May? Uh, absolutely. Time is, is running out. Uh, as I say, because it can take weeks, uh, uh, if not months, uh, to procure and ship the food, we really do need those commitments very urgently. Uh, people are struggling. Uh, they are destitute. Uh, families are down to uh, one meal a day, if even that. Uh, they're taking their children out of school. Uh, they're selling off what little they have by way of precious belongings. Uh, they're borrowing money and going going into debt. So uh, it's, it's a crisis of many dimensions and it is getting worse. I should also say that uh, you mentioned the fact that uh, the region has had one normal rainy season in the last five years. Uh, the weather forecasts are telling us that in the run-up to the next harvest, it is going to continue to be exceptionally hot, exceptionally dry. So the prospects are for yet another poor harvest in southern Africa this year. Gerald, good to talk to you. Many thanks indeed for being with us. Gerald Bork there, the spokesman for the World Food Programme for Southern Africa.